Hi Scorpio, welcome welcome to the tarot. I hope you're all doing well. If you are new here, you're very welcome here. If you're returning, welcome back. I need you guys to hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below. To those of you who have, I love you. Thank you. Alright, Scorp, this is a lot. Y'all forgive me if I am a little more irritated than I normally am. It's just a lot, and we're not even completely through the oracles yet, but... Spirit, help me get clear and precise messages for my viewers, the rest of my angels, ancestors, archangels, God, block any interferences, block any negativity, return it to center or where it belongs. Thank you. Up top we have Saturn, Neptune, Sagittarius, a lot of Piscean energy. We have Scorpio, Earth, Air, and Aries, as well as Mars, which is Aries, Scorpio energy. Um... You could be coming together with someone to battle demons who have literally um, been on you for way too long. You have an ancestor blocking somebody from getting to you as well. You could be getting in the future, possibly around February or March. You could be getting notifications from people who are saying, Hey, I've been texting you. I've been, me I've been messaging you. I called you. I tried to you know, email you. Whatever. It was blocked for a reason. Know that. Don't ever feel like you missed out on something that you were supposed to receive. You didn't. However, what you were supposed to receive, these leeches have been taking from you for far too long, keeping things from you for far too long, and putting up blocks for you for far too long, and it's coming to a quick fucking halt. You also have the Wheel of Fortune with Ungrateful. Somebody had you in the palm of their fucking hand, and they chose to be disgusting instead of accepting their blessing instead of being grateful. And people are talking about how much of an idiot this person is. This person has also said nasty things about you. They were lies. People are talking about the lies that this person's told about you as well, especially when they're watching this person be the very thing that they claimed you were. Now, we got flowers, fickle, and happiness hater. Somebody could have given you some crumbs and it pissed another person smooth off. They're out of their rocker. They're already, you know, possibly mentally ill and possibly physically ill as well. And it sent this person over the edge. Somebody's in a lot of pain, so they wanted to cause you a lot of pain as well. We also have dice with gamble here and sick. That is the energy of a straight up STD. Even if this person or these people don't have STDs, which I personally believe that they do, even if they don't have an actual STD, this is the energy of, they're very fucking close to it. They likely will in the future, 303. You want to remain protected from it. As you should. Good for you. Off in the corner, we have Aries and Mars. So double Aries, Scorpio. This is Emperor and Tower energy with Succubus. The Candle, Illumination. Taurus, money, and knowing the T. This could be exactly what you, you know, what is illuminated. You already have a gut fucking feeling. You already know the gist, but you could be getting confirmation about this situation here. If this sounds familiar, it's wrapping back around to be dealt with. Somebody also knows that something is for you. It's for, you know, it's in your favor. This is somebody fucking around with the dead. You got a whole fucking witch out here. And it's not the person, it's not a feminine. This is, uh, t for, for most of y'all. It's a masculine. Uh, they use sex as a weapon. They use their little leg, <laughs> their little part to seduce people, to manipulate people, to wrap people up into thinking that this person has actual intentions or feelings and they just don't. Oh wow. This was randomly here. Some of y'all are getting very, very good news coming in though, which is kind of like sidetracking you from the bad news. You're not really focused on the bad news. You're kind of focused on a lot of good news right now. Um, but this is coming up for a reason. <clears throat> I 
I was telling y'all in the Oracle message, and I, I'm telling you guys, when you click off this video, watch the Oracle messages, because I, like, this is just a rundown. Everything that was in the Oracles ain't gonna be in this one, but for a lot of my Scorpio viewers, it's almost like you, you ha there's some kind of purpose in your life about the people that you have loved the most cheating you, cheating on you, stealing from you, you finding out, ca causing you to be sick mentally, physically, spiritually. But there is a point in this purpose. Your legacy needs to be, it's like your purpose to break free. It's like your purpose to beat the odds. It's like your purpose to break these chains that these people have put on you, regardless of the odds. Some people, especially if they have Taurus in their chart, their, their north node, their fate, their purpose, a lot of them, and they'll stay in that, is to be trapped. You know what I mean? Your legacy... They're the fallen demon. Taurus is the fallen demon. That's why I say that. It's nothing against Taurus. It's what plagues us. Just like Scorpio rules the genitals. So what is Scorpio susceptible to? UTIs and reproductive organ issues and um, hormonal issues because that's the part of the body we rule. You know, like, I don't make the fucking rules. I just study them. But anyway, somebody could want you to be trapped because their life is always being trapped. Like always but because they accept it they want you to accept that as well and you're saying nay nay so you're setting yourself free somebody else these people also don't elevate they don't um evolve and you do something is coming in for you though so, uh, it feels like a few things are coming in for you and you're about to be extremely appreciative extremely appreciative Whereas somebody else, man, they don't appreciate a fucking thing. They, they don't have one thing that they appreciate. Legal matters. truth in the reverse. I'm telling you, this person is a, these people are a fucking lie. So, something could be, somebody could have been calling you ungrateful and that could have been their reason for not giving you what is rightfully yours. I'm telling you, this person's about to get a hell of a fucking sentence for this shit. Whether it's, you know, 3D, 5D, or both. They could have been calling you ungrateful, calling you a homewrecker, calling you this and this and that, and it's all lies, and, and people see it, people are talking about it. What's coming in with this? Change. Fickle and happiness hater. Player. timing. I think you already know that these people are sick. You know. It's coming in with gamble and sick. The 
person doing this to you could be a Scorpio or have other Scorpio placements or there's another Scorpio in this situation. Faded. Toxic. Yep. Go ahead. It's coming in with gamble and sick. Man, somebody has to pay for their ways. Ex-lover and date. Faded meeting here again. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm telling you. People have to pay for every gambling move they make. While well, you're catching blessings, this person's catching fucking hell. That's that this that's what they get for every bit of what they've done to you. Every bit of it is deserved, Scorpio. So if you know, and the messed up thing is you've seen part of what they do, but part of it even though you have a feeling, you don't even know how, how, how this person really is behind your back. But you're going to find out. Just one with sick and fate and gamble. <laughs> hey, man. It's coming in with gamble. Magnetic attraction. Yeah, you're not a pro you're not attracted to this entity, this behavior, or anything. Yeah, quite frankly, you're scared of that shit. Somebody else is scared of uh, the fate that they're gonna be receiving. That I'm telling you, like, I'm seeing like a, a, a what do they call it? SWAT team busting into someone's house and someone's just sitting there and lights a cigarette. Like they know what the fuck they do. It's Faded meeting is here like no other. Whoever you're in a connection with now is making this person, like, now they get to be brokenhearted and sick and pissed off. But you never cheated on them. You never were disloyal to them. You never lied on them. You never, yeah. And this is what they get. he has an addiction. He preys on people. And you stand by this person while they prey on innocent people? Wow, what does that say about you? Soulmate, mystery, and healing. You go, Scorpio. Alright, what's coming in with this uh, illumination? What's the outcome with illumination? Succubus, Taurus, money, knowing the tea, Mars. Anxiety. <laughs> Alright, man, it's here. It's here to stay. It's faded. Bottom of the deck, you have friends. Top of the deck, you have snake, man. Friends, home, liquid courage. Some of y'all could be having like some kind of like housewarming party or some celebration. Somebody else could be getting like wasted at a home with the people around them. Damn. Could be seeing 111 and 333. Short illness. Sudden loss.
Something could be coming through about something physical that belongs to you. Bro. Spirit be very precise. Okay. I want to be very precise. I don't want to be just like saying something. Yeah. For some of y'all, somebody could have passed away and that's what this is about. Somebody likes to make people think that they change as well, and they don't. It's a lie. Somebody could be calling you a happiness hater, even though you have you've ghosted the situation. You've walked away. You've given them all the space and time they need, and they're still calling you a happiness hater. No, it's, it's just you be spitting facts if they don't like to hear. I guess. This is truth in reverse. you. Enemy in reverse as well. Rival, frenemy, competitor, fight. So it could be two people that work together against you. Uh, these people lie about you. All kinds of fucked up shit while you were there for them during their hardest times. change. Great water. I know you're tired of hearing about it. I know you're tired of even thinking about these people, but there's some kind of reason. It has something to do with your life, your purpose, your belongings. Player. Expectation. Somebody could have been trying to talk to you through dreams or telepathically or whatever, but they're not like high vibe. And if you're blocking out, if you daily are asking for negativity to be blocked out, you didn't get none of those messages either. It's divine timing. <laughs> Here's half truths again with judication, bro, and divine support. I, I like. To sum it up, the reading is all about these lies coming to the light and being dealt with. Divine timing and divine support. I'll tell you what. Short illness. This could have to do with somebody else being ill or uh, causing you to be ill. Something like that. Damn. Um... Now they really are sick. Magnetic attraction and toxic? Yeah, dude. Oh, lord. Yep. Somebody wants somebody around them that they can lie to easily. Um, but little do they know that person is lying as well. This is crazy. Magnetic attraction. You get what you put out, dummy. That's magnetic attraction. Long road and sudden wealth coming out again with house. You're getting a shit ton of blessings. It's coming in with toxic relationship.
eye on her. Yeah, you know, you know, you done seen too much about these toxic ass people. And you could be exposing it. What's the outcome? Soulmate. Success and love in the reverse. So, it's almost like... It's almost like the upside down. Is that a... Ain't that a thing? Yes, dude. You have soulmate in the upright. This person's getting the opposite of... And then Scorpio and Taurus is opposite. Whatever this person is trying for, or, or accepting, or whatever. Especially because somebody has to do dark ass shit and fuck people over to try to get what they want because this person has to practice magic and manipulation nothing they try for will succeed nothing anxiety journey you can be anxious about this step that you're about to take some of y'all could love trains i love trains some of y'all could love, like, cars, airplanes, any kind of vehicle. And faded meeting. I'm... Bro. With main female, somebody has something for you. There's false person. Good news. An ending. Somebody plotted around some shit. This is disgusting, dude. Yep, and then somebody else thought that they could, you know, go ahead and, and yeah, join in on that plot and, and scheme and, and shit. Some dude. Or multiple. Yep. Uh, our father said, no, this is what you get. Karma. It's divine. Imprisonment. Stuck in a karmic cycle. Judication. Divine support. Imprisonment. Courthouse. Um, yeah. I'm telling you, if this person brought in, yep, main female, gift, routine, marriage, murky thoughts about poverty. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. You go, Scorpio. You go. This is fucking beautiful. Why, years later, do people still plot and scheme and gossip and lie and harm innocent people? Why? Why? For what? Because you're, you have standards, you have stability, you have respect. The people around you respect you. You respect yourself, which means you respect other people. You respect other relationships. There's been one time in my life that I was the other woman, and I was lied to about it, and done manipulation and magic on and blah 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 and that taught me everything I needed to know and that relationship was not successful you can't go fucking up people's lives and think that you're just gonna get to drift off into the shadows it don't work like that somebody somebody wants you to be ill they want you to be sick so this person, like, um, teams up with your enemies. This could, this could be your own family members as well. It's fucking gross. Whoever this third party is is a fucking compulsive liar as well. Yeah. People who want to remain dark with this candle and you're you being kind of light bright like they, they're that's their biggest fear they don't want you to be like they don't want you to be bright they don't want you to be happy they don't want to hear your positivity don't you know they like being sick and dark and fucking 
distorted, weird. Yuck. Alright. It's coming in with this lion enemy shit. Chain, chain, chain. We got eternal love, eternity, consistency, soulmate, upright, and then protest. So somebody could, somebody knows that somebody is always looking at you. That somebody wants to protest that. Somebody wants to bully you for it, even when you walk away. Somebody wants to scream at you and yell at you and blame you and blah 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 because they're they stalk your stalker. Something like that. Yeah, commitment in the reverse with conflict, fighting, arguing. I'm telling, like I said, these people are going to fucking kill each other. You don't need to be anywhere around that shit. What is this? What's coming in? Changing great water. Merit making. You cannot just fuck over people who are, like, some of y'all could be kind of monk-like or nun-like in your own way. You could be kind of strict with yourself, disciplined. So these people harm you because of it. You, do, you, you can't do that. I mean, you can, but be expecting the wrath. It's coming in with player and expectation. Readiness, preparation, prompt, arrangement. Divine timing and short animals. Real estate. Unhealthy atmosphere and standstill. could have told this person the way that they do shit is unhealthy, you don't, you don't live like they do, you don't get down like they do, you don't, anyway. Yep, there, this, too fucking long, too fucking long, this person's getting horrible fucking luck, and they're gonna continue doing that shit while they hold on, to, try to hold on to your shit. Man, you, like, when you've been forced to let go, so that's exactly what you've done, and they have done nothing but hold on, idea, and strategize. Magnetic attraction and long road with sickness and gamble. Toxic relationship and high honor. Coach. All because of something superficial, something like material, all of this over that? Yeah, bribe, endorsement, persuasion, bribe, temptation. Dude, 
like I said. All right, what's the outcome? Soulmate, success, Taurus, money, knowing the T. What's, what's the outcome here? Perseverance. I'm telling you, it's your, it's your legacy. It's your, it's your purpose is to, no matter what, beat the odds. No matter how dark, no matter how weird. the outcome. Relaxation. What's the outcome with this faded and gift of money? Schedule. Um, yeah, you could be really, really freaking busy right now and like really fucking busy trying to catch up with everything that you're trying to accomplish and, and so on and so forth. Damn. Yeah, they did it to themselves, man. Memory, sweet dream, curse. accident, stress. Oh my god, it's it's back. So Yeah, some somebody knew that something was going to help you. Somebody also thinks that they're being in an alliance to your stalker by bullying you, harassing you, screaming at you, and shit like that, but little do they know they're bringing on this person's entire curse onto themselves. I don't think they really care, though. They're pretty stupid. I'll use the deck that's most fitting with them. Four of Swords in the reverse. Somebody cannot rest. Queen of Wands. You could be kind of like um, anxious, not really sleeping a whole lot as well, because it looks like you're trying to accomplish a shit ton. And you doing it by yourself, the star, the two of cups. Some of y'all may be heading into a new commitment. Show me Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? Got the Queen of Swords wanting to come out with the Five of Cups, the Seven of Wands. And the tower. Queen of Swords. They know that someone's depressed and dark and they want them to stay that way. They know that someone's like mourning you, sad about you or something like that. They know that you were sad about it and they want y'all to stay that way. Stay sick, stay sad. Yuck. Swords. Oh. 
Yeah, they may be going down right along with this person. I'm telling you, these are not smart people. They're just not. Six of Cups. Page of Swords. It's coming in. Six of Wands. You succeeding while these weird motherfuckers watch you. You moving forward. You quickly gaining momentum while they watch. Queen of Swords. It's coming in. Queen of Wands. If you're a feminine Scorpio, you're a bad... Mm. This person's got, like, something on their lip. They could have, like, some kind of mouth sickness or something. Or they just run their mouth too fucking much. Mental... Anyway. Ace of Cups. And if these people knew you were in a relationship, why are both reaching out to you anyway? Eight of Cups. It's a six of Cups for Scorpio. I'm so fucking excited, Scorpio. Ten of Swords reverse. I'm so freaking excited. And let me tell you something. These these people, you know, that plot and scheme and plot and scheme and plot and scheme and plot and scheme. That's what they do to each other. I mean, that's what they are attracting. That's what they're manifest. That's all that they will be to each other. And once they have, you know, Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands, Scorpio. <laughs> like I'm so fucking excited. Um, these people ain't gonna be able to forget what they've done to each other. But they need to remember what they've done to you. Wheel of Fortune again. The fucking magician. This is literally the, the, the person that you're breaking free from. The entity that you're breaking free from. Does that look like somebody that you want to spend any more time around? I don't fucking think so. Six of Wands. Creepy motherfucker. Six the moon reverse. Yeah, this person's uh, secretive, dark, lies, delusional, um, wants other people to be in fear. They do fucking weird ass shit. Um, There's something too about you coming out from being hidden. You're you're not hidden anymore. You and your successes are not going to be hidden anymore. Like you're done. Succubus and fucking thieving, fucking weird shit. Ain't you in a relationship? Ain't y'all in like four relationships? Be happy there. Pay attention to that whole open session y'all got going on. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. More Taurus energy. Alright. Soulmate. Success. Perseverance. Damn. The Ten of Wands. Or the Ten of Pentacles and the Star again. With the two of cups, I'm telling y'all, big Aquarius energy, like, some of y'all, look, there's the, the divine masculine and feminine,
Some of y'all may be like coming together with an Aquarius, um, or your healing, the way that all of these cards. Some of you may end up where you're starting now may be your happily ever after like very freaking soon. Um, a relationship could be coming in though for sure. The Ten of Pentacles, man. You could have been like, you could have to, you know, carry the whole load by yourself for a very long time now. That could be coming to an end as well. I'm hearing it already. I'm hearing, like, I'd rather do it by myself than be surrounded by any more people that can harm me. I get it. I know. Page of Wands. I know. Four of Wands. Dude, you have beautiful things coming in. What's this anxiety journey and relaxation? swords so you're gonna be moving very very quickly this could be Gemini Libra Aquarius energy as well um, the high priestess something about February and March is like really freaking important for you um, the star again so a lot of Aquarius healer Six of Pentacles. Everything that these people took from you, you're about to have three times that anyways. And and it's about to be returned to you anyway, plus what they have blocked from you. The Magician again. Page of Wands reverse. Four of Wands reverse. Three of Cups reverse. Seven of Swords, reverse. Temperance, reverse. These people have absolutely no peace, no happiness, nothing. Alright. Um, what is this gift of money and schedule? judgment. Yeah, this one issue, it's a big it's a big fucking issue and, it, and it, that's why it's coming out, that's why it's coming around, that's why these people have anxiety about it. They they should and the judgment they're, that they're going to receive for this. Queen of Cups Five of Cups They wanted you to be anxious and sad and, and depressed and Page of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, The Devil, Death, The Ace of Swords. Yeah, these people have wished a lot of dark shit onto you. But you just keep going, you keep rising, you keep moving, you keep calling it out, you keep making a decision. And, uh, it's like the essence of what they put out the world it's always going to come back the devil death and the ace of swords what's crazy is you see how he's holding his hand out this exact person to me personally I took one last picture of them and that is what the picture of them is doing they're reaching their hand out just like that Ugh. Yeah, it's over with this uh, Five of Swords lovers, but they can continue doing it to themselves. Somebody's crying. Somebody's gonna be crying. A lot. Could be. A Libra with the Justice card. Oh my god, but it's it's on its way to you. Let's get you a little bit of advice. What do I want to use for advice? Uh, 
don't want to use this. Bravery and have faith. You go, Scorpio. Everything these people have tried to project onto you. One person knows they're getting karma. Healing. One person knows they're getting karma and they don't care. They're like, yep, it was me. I did it. Whatever. Oh well. Another person knows they're getting karma and they're screaming, crying. Crazy fucking weirdos. Cussing you, cursing you. Alright. Could be a lot of people talking about this. You've got friends around you that have snaked you, stolen from you as well. See advice for Scorpio? Advice for Scorpio? Release. You're being asked to release the toxic people or situations from your life. You deserve to be free of all drama, and this is the first step to achieving that. Every time I p f pull y'all's first uh, advice card, it's like that's what y'all are already doing. Pay attention. You're, at, you're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you're being given both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed. These signs will help these signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. So proceed with caution, Scorp. It's here to stay. Reassess. You're being asked to take stock of everything in your life. And damn, this is a lot of releasing and letting go. And I think you are so glad to do it. Let go of anything or anyone that no longer makes you feel happy. Notice who and what bring you joy and who doesn't. It's time for a life cleanup. Bottom of the deck, we have lighten up. You're being asked to remember that life doesn't always have to be so serious. I started the reading out with saying, like, I'm sorry if this is a little serious. Yes, there's hard things happening. No, it's not always going to be easy here on Earth, but you can always find time to laugh, be silly, and have fun. It's important that you do so. That is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope I gave you some clarity, some guidance, and I hope that everything that's coming in your way um, rocks for you and rocks there skulls for fucking with you. Alright, I love you and I will catch you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye!